Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can save storage and free up space on your iPhone or iPad so you have more space to take photos and videos and run updates. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone 13 mini here, and this is gonna work with any iPhone, even older iPhones with older versions of iOS. The main concepts here are going to be the same. Now, I strongly recommend you watch the entire video because there's a lot I'm gonna show you here. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at what we have going on. So a lot of us take photos and videos with our iPhones, and if you open up your photos application, and you go into your albums here, this is where all your photos and videos are going to be. Now videos take up a lot more space than your photos, so what I would do is go through these, the videos that you have within your photos and anything you don't need, remove it. Now you can also go back to this main page here and tap on the video section right here, and this way you can just go through all the videos specifically, and then tap select up top, just go through, delete the ones that you don't need, and then remove them. You wanna do the same thing with your photos as well, and then you wanna come down to the recently deleted section. A lot of people forget that this is here, but if you delete them, they're still on your phone, almost like a recycling bin on your computer. You need to come here and just either select them and uh, choose the ones you want removed, or delete them all together. Down here, there's a delete all section, so tap select, delete all, delete nine items. It'll clear them from your phone just like that, and immediately you're going to free up a lot of space. Now tying in with your Photos application is actually the camera app, and this is going to help you slow down the speed that you run out of space. Now if you go over to the video section, you'll see at the top that my default here is 4K at 30 frames per second. If you shoot video at 4K, either at 30 frames or 60 frames, that's the max, you're going to use the most space per video than you could if you just switch over to the HD at 30. And you can actually go into the settings application here. So we'll just open settings, go down to where you see camera. And from here you wanna change the record video default so that it always opens up in the option you want. Now 720 is gonna use the least amount of space. I traditionally shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now if I open up my camera app, it's going to be at HD at 30 frames per second by default, so I don't forget. But I can always tap and change it to 4K if I needed to. So that way you don't use as much space when you're shooting video. Now with our iPhones, iMessage is one of the biggest culprits here of hidden space being wasted. We usually have a full list of messages here full of files, folders, videos, and message history over years of time. Now obviously I only have a few here because this is a test phone, yours will be most likely full. But each one of these messages will contain your whole history and everything that you've sent within that. So any videos, files, and folders. So you wanna remove the ones that you don't need anymore, just swipe to the left, and then trash them. Keep in mind when you do delete them, the complete history with the files, folders, and videos that you have sent within that message history will be deleted. So if you wanna save them, make sure you do save them somewhere first to a hard drive or something before you delete the history. Now another one obviously is to delete the applications you don't use on your iPhone. This phone here again is a test unit, but it does have quite a bit of applications, some pre-installed applications from Apple. If you don't use podcasts, just tap and hold and then just tap remove app. Now you can tap remove from home screen, but you wanna delete the app to free up the most available space that you can by getting rid of that application. So you wanna go through all your apps, kinda delete the ones you don't use, and that way not only are you organizing your iPhone, but you're also freeing up that much needed space at the same time. Now for those of us who have a current version of iOS installed, this is iOS 15 point something, uh, we have an option in our settings application here. If you just go to settings and then tap general, you have a section here which is going to say iPhone storage. And this is where your iPhone is going to compile everything that's on your phone and let you know how much space you have and how much you've used. It's also gonna show you some recommendations and you can tap show all to see all the recommendations there are and what it's going to provide you in terms of space if you take action. So for example, if we offload unused applications, we can save 816.6 megabytes, which may not seem like a lot, but it's almost a gig. And if I just show you my iPhone that I use a little bit more, 
you can see that it will actually remove 7.65 gigabytes and offload that. So that's a lot of space that I'm wasting on applications that I don't really use too much. So if you do have an iPhone with a smaller size, uh, maybe a 64 gig, this will definitely be a helpful spot. And also you can see my photos, how much space they're taking up in my messages, five gigs just in messages. And applications like GarageBand here, taking up 1.59 gigabytes. So you wanna go through this list here and see what's going on, see what's using most of your space. And if you don't want one of these apps, like you don't want GarageBand there, you can offload the app, which is going to save a little bit of space. And that way you could just bring it back if you need it a little bit quicker. But if you delete it completely, it'll be gone from your iPhone and anything you delete, including applications that are pre-installed by Apple, you can always go back into the app store here. We can always bring back those applications we deleted. So even the ones that are pre-installed by Apple. So we look at podcast. It should be right there with a cloud icon. We can re-download it if we want to use it later. But it's very important that you do go through this list and see what the culprits are of the space that you're using. That way you can take action on it, remove it, and you have a little bit more space available to you on your iPhone. Now there's also devices like this right here. This is called the Jet Drive and there's a link in the description if you want to pick it up. And I featured it many times on my channel. They're not a sponsor, but it's a great way to offload some of your files, folders, photos, and videos from your phone quick and easy. So for example, at the beginning I said, go through all your photos and videos and then delete the ones you don't want. But if you want to keep them and they just are taking up too much space, a device like this right here, it has a lightning cable on the bottom or a lightning port. You just plug it up to your phone, you download the drive application, and then you can just simply select your photos, transfer them over to this little drive here, and then because the other end has a USB, once they're loaded here, you can just take this to your computer, plug it in, and then just take those photos, load them up to your computer. So simple, so easy, and it's not that expensive either, and they're just like using a USB thumb drive, so if you're familiar with that, it's very similar. And uh, this is something I suggest, especially if you're not too technical with your iPhone and you have a hard time just transferring things from your phone to your computer anyway, this makes it a lot easier. And uh, I also have a video on how it works. If you wanna check that out, there'll be a link to that as well. But that is how you can save some space on your iPhone and how you can free up some space. That way you can start using your phone to take more photos, more videos, and also run updates, which seem to be getting bigger and bigger over time with more features. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're looking to learn more about your iPhones, there's a link in the description to the full playlist of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials. So definitely check it out. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out and I'll see you in the next one.